Um, hi, I'm Toby. I'd like to bring up a important, but it's not really important thing. It's just a good thing to know. Uh, I saw a recent post here on TikTok lately. Someone said that if you have a foam fursuit, you should stick it in acetone to melt it. Um, because uh, styrofoam reacts, it makes a chemical reaction making it dissolve into acetone. Um, and telling them to like basically melt their fursuits. I want to say something because um, I really like science and I think it's really fun to learn about it. Um, but I just wanted to bring this up and break it down for you guys, saying that that might not actually work. Um, first of all, styrofoam and upholstery foam are completely different things. Upholstery foam is much more dense than Styrofoam. As you can see yeah, here, the acetone reacts to the foam, foam and melts, melts it completely, styrofoam dissolving in, in there. Because of how much air is in the foam. That's why it's so easy to break. I have one. Uh, I actually have some styrofoam over here. It's a different. It's a bit different. Um, it has a lot more air in it. So, depending on what styrofoam you have, it will melt really quickly in acetone and acetone makes that chemical reaction melting it making it collapse upholstery foam upholstery foam is much more dense it has less air bubbles it's not as easy to break as styrofoam because styrofoam has so much air in it it's just easy to snap like a twig upholstery foam you can't because it's so much denser and it just bends so technically um Acetone won't melt upholstery foam. Um, it's not really possible because of how much less air is in the foam. Meaning your fursuits won't technically melt if you do that. Um, I thought this was a bit of an important thing to say because a lot of people don't know this and might get offended by it. But really the people who are trying to be haters on furries and telling them to melt their suits in acetone... They're not really thinking, it's just, it's not true, they are legit, just being stupid. Um, most of the time don't take hand comments like that to heart because they actually have no idea what they're talking about. Um, if you like this video, these science facts, I could totally do more of these. If you have any more questions about acetone or the way it reacts, I can go into way more depth into it and actually have a technical definition for it. But as far as right now, this is all I'll be doing. Um, I'm glad you watched. If you like these videos, suggest more things I should talk about and subscribe and turn on notifications for the next video. Let's